this is the flower. Um, it's already closed now, but last night it was completely open. Uh, it bloomed so much later than it usually does. I thought it wasn't gonna bloom at all. I thought it was like dead or something. I don't know. But um, I was just happy to see it bloom. It's dead now though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dropping off Kano at the dog hotel uh, before I head out to Seoul. Alright, let's go! So I'm on my way to Seoul to meet the cast of his band. Uh, we're doing a little reunion together. I mean, we've met individually, but collectively, we haven't been able to get together as a group. Uh, so yeah, we just decided that we needed to pick a date uh, once the new year started and just kind of catch up. I haven't seen some of them in quite a while, especially like Song and Chun Song. Yeah, His Man 2 reunion. Uh, I'm gonna get my hair cut first and uh, I am here a little bit early so I might just kind of loiter around uh, Melted, Sonu's gelato shop and just kick it there before we all get together and hang out. I know I'm a little late. I think it's been a month since the new year has started, but to be fair, for me, I feel like the new year is starting now. Uh, you know how there's that transitional period that everyone needs to go through before they really realize that it's 2024? That's kind of how it's been for me. Yeah, my mind has been stuck in 2023 and I am now just getting past that and coming to terms with the fact that it is now a new year. I know it's been like a pretty long time since I've uploaded a video. Uh, I think the last one I uploaded was right before my birthday uh, on December 4th. And yeah, uh, at that point, I was so burnt out physically and I just needed to take a break and I cleared my schedule. I stopped all of my editing and... I try to relax. Unfortunately, that kind of backfired. I basically realized that I was holding on to so much emotional baggage that I had neglected uh, for the past few months that when I actually stopped physically working and distracting myself, all of the stress that I had been holding on to ended up imploding. Last year was a pretty chaotic year, you know? Uh, there was a lot going on, there was a lot I had to process. There was a show, His Man. I came out of the closet publicly and, you know, I started my music career again uh, with this new identity. But one thing that I didn't tell you guys was that late last year, 
I became estranged from my parents. It took a huge toll on my mental health and I ended the year on a low. But luckily I had you guys. You guys actually distracted me so much uh, by recommending me BLs to watch. We would stream the BLs together and we actually watched all Boys Planet together as well. So uh, we had a good time uh, and I was able to get through the year. But one thing I did realize looking back, I always thought that coming out was going to be like the end all be all. I thought everything would just kind of, you know, figure itself out once I came out of the closet. But I realized that coming out was literally just the beginning. And the past few months for me has been kind of like me getting over the final hurdles for me to finally live my life for the first time. So how does it feel to live my life for the first time? Uh, if I'm being honest, I feel super vulnerable. Uh, sometimes I get really angry and I feel incredibly awkward. It's almost like I've become a teenager again. I'm super insecure. I'm going through kind of an identity crisis because I've spent so much of my life and my purpose to finding validation that I never really took the time to discover who I really was. Yeah, all I can say is 2024 is going to be a hot mess. <laughs> I have no idea where I'm going in this journey. But to be fair, we're starting from point zero. I mean, we're finally starting from point zero. And I'm excited to see where it leads. So uh, thanks for sticking around this journey with me. And I'll update you on my next one.